Basil II Porphyrogenetus, the Byzantine emperor from 976 CE to 1025 CE, is often held as Bulga Slayer. In this video, we'll explore the life and achievements of Basil II and examine why he is widely regarded as the greatest Byzantine emperor. Basil II, born in 958 CE, held the senior position of the Byzantine Emperor from 976 to 1025 as a Porphyrogenetus or born in the purple. He and his brother Constantine VIII were crowned before their father Romanus II died in 963. However, due to their young age, the throne was temporarily held by two generals, Nikiforos Phocas and John Tsimiskis, until Basil assumed the role of the senior emperor. Basil's great uncle, Basil Akapenus, remained the de facto ruler until 985. Basil's the second primary objective was to reclaim former territories of the Byzantine Empire. Though the exact size of his army is unknown, estimates suggest it could have reached as high as 110,000 men, excluding the imperial tagmata stationed in Constantinople. Basil II engaged in various external conflicts in regions such as Syria, Armenia, Georgia, the Balkans and southern Italy. He successfully defended the Byzantine position in Syria against the aggressive Fatimid dynasty of Egypt. Basil II also also conducted forced marches from Constantinople across Asia Minor to provide relief to Antioch. His most notable military campaigns were directed against the Bulgarian Empire, earning him the nickname Bulga Slayer. Having crushed the Bulgarians, Basil exacted his vengeance cruelly. He was said to have captured 15,000 prisoners and fully blinded 99 of every 100 men, leaving one one-eyed man in each cohort to lead the rest back to their ruler. Basil II sought assistance from Venice to protect the Dalmatian cost in Adriatic waters from Bulgarian aggression. Ultimately, in 1018, he defeated the Bulgarian Empire, annexing Bulgaria and restoring Byzantine power in the Balkans. Basil II's economic policy was characterized by prudent management, allowing him to amass significant wealth for the imperial treasury. He was popular among the country farmers who produced most of his army's supplies and soldiers. Basil's laws protected small agrarian property owners and lowered their taxes. Seeking to protect the lower and middle classes, Basil implemented rigorous measures against the system of immense estates in Asia Minor. In 1002 CE, Basil also introduced the Alilangian tax, obliging the wealthy landholders Dinati to cover the arrears of poorer taxpayers. By 1025, Basil had amassed 14.4 million nomismata or 90 tons of gold with an annual revenue of 7 million nomismata due to his prudent management. Despite the constant state of warfare, Basil II displayed exceptional administrative skills by reducing the power of influential land-owning families that controlled the empire's administration and military. He challenged the dominance of the military aristocracy and the church, consolidating his domestic authority. Instead of ruling solely from Constantinople, Basil II actively campaigned with his army throughout most of his reign, garnering significant support. These continuous military campaigns marked the zenith of Byzantine power. In conclusion, Basil II Porphyrogenetus rightfully deserves the title of the best Byzantine Emperor. His military campaigns, reforms and restorations transformed the Byzantine Empire, securing its endurance over the centuries. Today, his legacy continues to inspire people, serving as a symbol of Byzantine strength and resilience.